So a while ago, we played on Indie Tryouts, I believe, SteamWorld Heist, which was a cool tactics game, side-scrolling, set in the SteamWorld universe. And there's actually a ton of games in the SteamWorld universe. The devs have made a bunch of games in a bunch of different genres, and they're all generally pretty highly regarded. And SteamWorld Heist was quite cool. So when the devs reached out and offered to do a little sponsored segment to showcase SteamWorld Build, um, Thunderful Games, so I was like, oh yeah, let's do it. <laughs> it looks like a cute uh, colony builder and also crossed with mining slash tower defense like you uh build on the city surface colony builder style and then you go down and mine underground and it's got cute robots high roller dunes the grand gully tumbleton <laughs> this guy's face <laughs> fossil park and the tutorial works on any of them it looks like as well stay on your toes to keep your town thriving maybe i'll try difficult aggressor aggressive numerous enemies and no refunds when destroying buildings. I'm in Grand Gully thinking of you. The thought of your shining bolts makes my head spin like a, the, a ride on the canyon roller coaster. Our love is as deep as the canyon. Won't you join me soon? Roller coasters. Sounds great. Let's go. Oh, a little oh, let's get your little doll. Way up there, Pa. <laughs> By following my plan, little friend. <laughs> what are you planning? I am here to get you all to safety. Sure is nice with someone looking out for us. What? <laughs> Squeeze the area for resources and the people for all that <laughs> yes. they were. Yes, now we're talking, guys. <laughs> That's mighty harsh, man. <laughs> Just get it done. Sounds pragmatic. Squeeze. Squeeze every native, every resource out of this land and wring every drop of oil out of the robot people. <laughs> Our workers will need somewhere to live, so let's build some residentials. <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. Wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. Gel, <laughs> jelly blueprint on a plate. Bloop, 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 bloop. <laughs> uh, we need six residentials. All right, then. Do I, maybe I'll do a block of three and three, like so. Fulfilling needs will increase your population and earn you higher taxes. Currently, your citizens need a general store. Look at them! <laughs> oh, we're gonna exploit you. Oh yeah, we're gonna exploit you. That one has like, boards as a beard. Here's our general store. It's got a little arrow, so this one does care about facing. Put the general store near the train station, for sure. And it looks like you can just touch the road there. Bam. Oh, I love the aesthetics of this game, it's so, it's so cool. <laughs> new milestones unlock buildings and new needs for your citizens that must be fulfilled. You can always check the needs of your citizens by selecting any residential building. General store access is fit, but they also need a service shot. Oh yeah, to repair them because they're robots. <laughs> Makes sense. Satisfaction, 50%. I've marked a good spot for the forester. The more trees nearby, the better the forester will perform. As indicated by the fertility level, a fertility level. I need a uh, a repair place though, right? Service shop. Can I afford that first? Yeah. Let's get the service shop in here then. Put the essential needs along here. Did we just bang like a bunch of money? Oh yeah, satisfaction level one hundred percent. Eleven out of money. Eleven money. Six out of six workers. Be six workers. We apparently need like 120 workers for this thing though. It's gonna need a few more, that's for sure. But first it looks like we want to get that forester down, I think. Lumber mill, forester. So we also need to process it though. Let's put this as far away as possible while still getting 100%. It looks like I can do 100% here. Nice. I wonder if we delete that tree whether that'll cause issues though. We probably want a road here. This building's not collected, connected to the train station by road. Oh yeah. Give me a little boop boop crossing over here. And then I think we... Maybe we join this down here. Hopefully we can fit a building in here, this little spot. Looks good. Warehouses distribute resources throughout the city. If a refiner is not within coverage range of a warehouse, it cannot deliver its resources. Seems like we could put a warehouse along here then. <laughs> I love the, like, the details. <laughs> like, look at this! The, the claw arm coming down and lifting the box up and then this guy come dragging it in. Many refineries require resources from other buildings in order to produce their own. The lumber mill, we used logs from the forester to produce boards. 
Refineries do not need to be within reach of residential buildings to make their goods available to them. Hmm, lumber mill. We could just have it here too. Maybe I'll stick it over here. Water is essential for your steam bots to be powered. All oh, right, that makes sense. <laughs> cactus water can be extracted from local cacti at the cactus farm. If you can't build a cactus farm yet, build more residentials and or fulfill them to citizen needs until you have enough workers. Yeah, I need more workers, okay. So we're gonna need, gonna need to expand residential then. I'll do another, another set of, oh, we're running on boards. But board production is going. Oh, you can keep, you can keep dragging in multiple different directions. I've never seen a game be able to do more than one corner like that. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Oh my god, you can just, you can kind of keep doing corners. Get our final house in there. <laughs> well, there's like variety in the houses and everything too. This one's got a little robot dog. <laughs> so cute. There's some robot tumbleweeds. Look like you could click on them. They might have items. Wait, where? <laughs> we saw a robot tumbleweed somewhere. Oh my lord, you're right. <laughs> There's tumbleweed loot boxes. <laughs> Squeezes juice from cacti to make cactus water. Delicious, delicious cactus water. Farms require fields to function. Oh, they do need fields. Oh man, okay, how many though? Three? Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> oh no. I mean, I could probably get away with three here. It's not ideal though, is it? <laughs> it's time for my Spaghettiville. <laughs> Spaghettiville. That works. <laughs> There's a little robot scarecrow. <laughs> Look at this. I love the detail of this game. Just pull up. <laughs> Look at him juicing the cactus. Steam, ro steam robots need... Well, they need steam. And for steam you need water. And for water you need to squish them cactus. A charcoal keeps steam bots operational. Of course, you need something to burn the water to make steam. So each of them have a little steam generator inside of themselves. If you can't build the charcoal kiln yet, build more residentials and or fulfill citizen needs. Um, are any of these missing out on needs or are we good? So these ones don't have access to the service shop. Why is that? Because it's too far away, I'm guessing. Ah, look at that. It is too far away. Okay. So we're going to want to think about expanding and having multiple access to multiples of these, but maybe making the next lot a bit further away. Like, just putting it here would be kind of a waste. I could always just move this service shop. That's another option. If I put it here, it'll be pretty. If I put it, like, in here... I'll do it here next to the general goods. Then I'll delete this one. We're gonna need a lot of workers to exploit. <laughs> Unlocked a new milestone. We're growing our population. Oh yeah, it's growing. Look at it go. So the warehouse is only kind of reaching to the edge here, but not quite getting around the corner. What are the options besides the bulldozer does? Move. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. I see. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> good, uh, good, good noticing. Free money, woo! Let's see how far that reaches. So it doesn't quite get all the way. Yeah. That's good for two more houses then. Otherwise we're gonna have to like build some more amenities down here it looks like. Is that enough though? That's not quite gonna be enough is it? Uh, we have more needs but it looks like it's a train station and charcoal. And I don't think we can- can we build the charcoal kill? No, I'm gonna leave a little gap there, don't even worry about it. <laughs> don't even need- don't even worry about it. The charcoal kiln is not reaching all of the houses. Ah, oh, this, this this takes me this takes me back to uh, playing Caesar three and losing and like having a bunch of slums because the amenities don't reach them. <laughs> All right, so anything <laughs> this side's kind of gonna be the slums here. It looks like because <laughs> they don't have access to charcoal. <laughs> These ones should, but I think it needs to produce some more wood. I wonder if we need more wood production. Um, I wonder if there's a way to see my current resource. Oh, here we go. Administration window. Negative number means your demand is higher than what you're producing. You can select a resource from the list to see its balance trend over time. Great territorialization here. That's pretty cool. It said we need more wood. I figured we probably would need more wood. <laughs> Between the charcoal 
and the boards, we're not producing enough logs. So we'll want to get another log producer in here. I wonder if we can kind of put them close together. It looks like the fertility is low because that one's already been tapped by that. Although it, it seems like, yeah, just even just behind it here would be enough though. And they're both still operating at full, I believe. It's like slow delivery time. I wonder why that is. I'm going to need a road. <laughs> I never noticed the lumber mill. Just the giant axe going chop. <laughs> Shop. <laughs> when repaired, the train station makes it possible to trade with other settlements. It will also allow us to buy useful items from the item store. Repair and train station will fulfill a need of your citizens. Repair the broken train station. Can I just repair it now? It looks like I can. Bam! With the old girl up and running again, we'll be able to ferry in supplies much easier. I am the trader. Indeed. This is what I do. I think I can conduct all your trade. The train listens to me. <laughs> the train listens to me. That sounds mighty helpful, partner. Welcome <laughs> aboard. So the train can come every now and then and we can trade to get new items, which I think we can upgrade our buildings with. The train station gives you access to trade and the ability to buy items that boost the efficiency of your city. This is where you can set up new trade deals. You can also keep track of any active deals. This is where you buy items and equipment that can boost your city and mine. Items will refresh when the train arrives at the station. Alright, let's see what we have access to here. Warehouse deliveries, warehouse item. Oh, warehouse deliveries plus, warehouse item, simultaneous deliveries plus two. So, it increases the efficiency of our warehouse then. Service inhabitants, ding. Service item, citizen bonus plus three. So we get more citizens for this. And machine reparation bonus. Mechanic equipment, machine reparation, but this sounds like repairing for down in the mines, maybe. You unlocked a new citizen tier. The expertise of the engineers will enable you to, your city to advance to the next level. Note that engineers have different needs than your workers. Oh, a new type of person we can get to move in. Engineer bots. You can upgrade residentials to the next tier of satisfactions at 100%. This game's quite charming. It, this game's so charming. <laughs> The little, uh, the little robots and these things like chopping the logs and everything. <laughs> They're doing their little deliveries and whatnot. And the cactus presses squeezing water out of the cactus to power the steam bots. <laughs> and this thing with picking up the crates and the little robots taking them inside. A little robot western. <laughs> little their accents. And they got like wooden beards and stuff. <laughs> so charming. That's charming city builder. Looks like a train's coming in. Do we have that item now? And how do I socket it, I wonder? Yeah, I have this thing, service inhabitants. It looks like I can increase inhabitant bonus by plus three for all affected residential buildings. Do I put it in the general goods store, maybe? Yeah, I do. And so it'll affect every building that it's touching. Plus, 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 plus. Look at that. Go, big wins. Plus, plus three. Plus three citizens uh, bonus, I'm guessing means like three more citizens per house. That means I can get new items now, huh? Gold, 20 times gold, whoa! <laughs> production chance, 15% bonus production. And prospector speed, prospector equipment movement speed. So this must be for down in the mines then. Hmm, I think I'll leave this one unless I get enough rubies for the production chance, which I don't have yet. So uh, it looks like we'll probably upgrade some of the middle ones here to create some engineers. Upgrade workers to engineers. Bam. Do a little block of engineers here. I don't know how many we need. It says to upgrade three. I'll do four. This is the upper class robots. Not, not, <laughs> not the, uh, what is it? The plebeian worker cast robots, but these are the highly skilled engineer bots. <laughs> In their double stacked high rise buildings. <laughs> their buildings actually look, uh, look at these giant columns. They actually look a little bit less, uh, a little bit less cozy than these little hovel shacks. Time to repair the broken mine shaft. The mine shaft is broken and cannot be used. To repair it, we're going to need several engineers and have to pay some resources. In the mine, you'll find unique resources needed to grow your city. Maybe that's where we can find some rubies. Time to repair. 
There we go. Digging a hole. Repair the mine shaft. Good job. Now let's head down to the mine. Press two to enter the mine. You can always return to the city by pressing one. <gasps> All right, we made it. We um, interact with the chest to open it. You have a free loot. Ooh. That looks like a giant gold nug. Plus 20 gold. Oh, yeah, gold nugs. So, this game has two parts to it. There's this, like, mining dungeon keeper style thing going on down here. And then your city building on top as well. And the two feed into each other. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's go down. Looks like there's high instability will soon cause a collapse in the mine. Hmm, okay. The instability of the planet is dangerous. If it now, there will be collapses in the mine. You can place pillars to stabilize. Stabilize this area first. So let's do it in this area here. The blue part is the unstable areas will be shown in striped blue squares. Yeah, so I can put a pillar in here and it'll stabilize that whole lot. Miners do all our digging. Now let's set up their quarters. The size of the room determines how many miners are recruited. Click and drag to build a large quarters quickly. Quarters must be at least nine tiles to function. We'll do like that and see if that's enough. <laughs> it's a, it ain't pretty, but it'll get the job done. Yeah, now we've got some diggers so that they can dig out the place. Sick. Scrap is essential for future construction and production. The growth of our city relies upon unique resources found in the mine. Dig your way towards the highlighted tile to uncover a scrap vein. It's like we get tools and stuff. Oh yeah. I think the train is returned so we can see what's on offer at the train station now. Three rubies for money. Oh, so we can actually buy more rubies so that we can buy more things. Well, that seems like worth getting them. We'll do that. Did that give it to us straight away? I think it did. But we still a sh one ruby short though. Oh, there's like a locked area we can expand into in the future. <laughs> oh, and this is where the, uh, there's like a broken, uh, roller coaster. Oh god! It just jumped the gap! <laughs> what the? What is going on over there? I'm impressed that you can, like, do the tutorial on any of the levels, apparently. That, like, made the tutorial work on each one. It's kind of impressive. Oh, they cleared out the rubble! So they must just do that when they're, like, when they have free time between their other duties. So now I can expand out this. Ah, oh, this does cost, like, gold too, though. Um, so that'll give plus two more miners. Yeah, I think, I, I read this actually in like one of the reviews someone posted, that when you're not like actively mining, the miners will go about doing beautification and improvement of the mine, which makes it like feel really lived in. That's quite cool. It's like this guy doesn't have a job right now, so he's like putting up, um, he's putting up like reinforcement struts and stuff on the walls, improving the area. <laughs> That's so cool. Too few prospectors in the dusty caverns. Ah, oh, we need prospectors for those. Okay. So, to mine the scrap vein, we'll need the help of prospectors. Head back up to the city so we can prepare for their arrival. I've marked several deposits of tools for you to mine if you need extra. Yeah, nice. So we need to come back up here to get some prospectors then, eh? To get the help of prospectors, we need to grow our city. Upgrading more workers into engineers or fulfilling the engineers' needs will do the trick. Hmm, so what do the engineers need? Moonshine and a saloon. <laughs> Let's see if we can do that, maybe, first. Moonshiner. Oh, it needs sand sifting, glass blowing, and then a cactus farm. Oh, the saloon is probably going to only work if you have moonshine. Our approach then is probably more to convert more workers into engineers. We need 70 of them. So I'll... The upper, the upper districts here will get converted into engineers. To mine the scrap vein, you'll need prospectors in the mine. Prospectors extract resources from the resource veins in the mine and send it up to the city. The size of the quarters determines how many prospectors. Build some prospectors quarters. Alright, where are we going to have the prospector quarters then? Maybe I'll just dig this little area here and put the prospectors in. Yeah. There's a chest here. You do not have ac access to this chest. Well, get access to the chest. Dig, dig, dig. Give it. Oh, this stuff fell down. Yeah, I got a ruby. Kind of looks like a chasm. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a chasm. Let's get those tools in. And the gold. Mm, oh, I don't have enough to build that much. There we go. I can get two prospectors. You now have a steady flow of scrap. You should continue consider making tools maker in the city, so we don't have to rely on finding tools in the mine. Remember to look at the recipe of a building. It tells you what it needs in order to function. Ooh. 
Oh, they put up little, <laughs> they put up little safety barricades on the edge of the chasm so that the robots don't fall in. <laughs> Ionium vein. That sounds like something we want access to. To dig this soil, more advanced tools are needed. Ah, oh, I can't get into the sandstone yet. You need pickaxes to dig through the sandstone. I see. It's like these power cable things, kind of sus. So the prospectors are automatically doing this. So they they keep mining scrap from this. Like this is a a la a lasting resource. It looks like. Yeah. This guy keeps going and get little boxes of scrap. Just dig out the whole thing. Got another chest. Oh, helmet. What does that do? Reinforcing bonus. Huh? Reinforcing bonus. 200% reinforce speed, 33% movement speed. Greatly increases a miner's reinforcing speed. Oh, how do I equip these? Do I put them in here? Oh yeah, here we go. Reinforcing speed and movement speed. Great. That's a good find. Roads used to connect your, all your buildings to the train station and for delivery bots to travel on. Paved roads allow faster movement speed for your steam bots and increase the coverage range of your service buildings. Ah, this will allow us to stretch our coverage further. What do they cost? One tool? I only have 19, so we might not use that just yet. So scrap found in the mine, toolmaker. It wants to be able to reach the warehouse, so I need to put it close enough for that. But it also needs to be able to reach the mine, which it can't do from there. <laughs> so I think we're going to need another warehouse on the other side. I think it needs to reach the mine? It doesn't like highlight the mine though, so maybe not. Scrap can only be found in the mine is useful for creating- so we do have scrap here. That's there. Train arrived at the station. Let's see what's available. I can buy more rubies for money. I feel like I should always do that. Production item. Production speed increased. Reinforcing bonus. I can get another one of those. Uh, I think I'll... Yeah, I'm gonna get both. <laughs> Add some more reinforcing bonus to these guys. And what do I want to increase the production speed of? Maybe the toolmaker. I'll try putting the toolmaker here and we'll see how that goes. We should secure some Arnium next to... We need to upgrade our digging tools by making a pickaxe maker in the city first. Pickaxes are also allow us to start a hunt for old tech. With pickaxes, you'll be able to dig through sandstone, build a pickaxe maker, extract from the ironing vein, and find the first piece of old tech. Pickaxe maker, where are you? Unlocks needs more engineers for the pickaxe maker. <laughs> I love this giant hammer. Hammering these. <laughs> just, it just hammers the like box of scrap into a hammer. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a big, it's a big hammer making baby hammers. <laughs> Let's give the production speed boost thing. That'll speed it up some. I think I'm, now I'm going to try and build some of these paved roads in the middle, maybe. We'll do like the core kind of, it. We'll, we'll, we'll do kind of cut the core areas here. But this does eat our tools, so I love road upgrades in these sorts of games. <laughs> I'm a sucker for road upgrades. So this thing is reaching much further now. That really does make a big difference, which means I can put some more houses in this area. General goods is reaching everything and could probably even go a bit further from the looks of things. And that'll make the uh, warehouse reach a bit further too, probably. Oh yeah, I love me some road, road upgrades. They seem pretty impactful in this game too. Get those road upgrades really cranking. Did that fix the low production on the tools? No, I'm thinking it's probably the lack of scrap. I think we're probably not producing enough scrap. If we check this thing... Yeah, I'm just not producing enough scrap in the mines currently. That's the problem. Build a pickaxe miner. Can I do that now? No, I still need more engineers, so I will try and build more engineers then. Increasing the size of the prospector quarters, we can get more prospectors, which will shorten the time it takes to gather resources. Can I... Increase them now? What does it cost? Money, gold nuggets, you see, you must pay them in gold nuggets. Production item lowers workforce requirements. Miner equipment, recruit three bonus miners. Mm -mm. Can't afford any. We are broke. <laughs> I've, I'm like, I've never got to run out of money. We have so much money. I started to spend my money pretty quickly, didn't I? <laughs> In the end here, Oop. here we go, these my oh, tools and gems, okay, I got some more tools though, that's good. That lets me get a few more prospectors. Sheet metal factory, parts maker, pickaxe maker. So we need forester, scrap, and pickaxe maker. 
We might want to get another forester going down here, maybe. Do the engineers produce taxes? That's a good question. They do seem to, yeah. Income 450, city upkeep 75, mine upkeep 60. So we're doing pretty well there. Looks like there's two other forms of citizens you can get to later on. It, they will need access to the wood. I don't know, maybe just having access to the warehouse might be enough. I'm curious to see if this works if I put it here. Waiting for resource delivery, low production. Yeah, so they're still gonna have issues with scrap. It's, it tags the little delivery boy. <laughs> hey, it looks like an old dummy delivery boy. <laughs> All right, we have pickaxes coming in now, which means we should be able to mine the, um, the sandstone to get access to like the ionium thing. You need pickaxes to dig through sandstone. You gain access to the workshop facility, which allows us to build machines. Facilities have a machine capacity, depending on their size. Machine! <laughs> if you need more capacity for machines, increase the size of the facility. I don't know what that's needed for yet, though. Are they coming out now? Yeah, here they go. I wonder if the pickaxes are consumed then, like they blunt the pickaxes in order to dig the sandstone. You found an item vein. Mark it with the dig tool so your prospectors can begin extracting. So we got one prospector on the Ionium and one prospector over here on the scrap. Nice. I guess I'm gonna need a bridge, bridge to get across that stuff. There's another scrap vein here, which it looks like I might be able to get into if I dig around creatively somewhere. Dig all the things. Dig all the things. Yeah, give me the gold. Give me the gold. I, I need it. I need all of the gold. Workshop is signing on the bottom. Oh, it's down here that we do it in the mine. I see. Oh, the scrap extractor. Oh, I see. Okay. Workshop. Click, click and drag to build the workshop. Ah, the center of machine production. Every extractor will be constructed here. Ew, cool. All right. Here we go. Workshop. Oh, I don't have much money though. <laughs> oh no! I forgot about the whole stabilization thing. Remember that? <laughs> it told me about that, but I, fo I totally forgot. <laughs> Oh no! My prospectors! My prospectors, go to heavens! Can I fit this? Extractor slots, I just need one. So that's enough to get one there. Perfect. Now I can get the, uh, scrap extractor. Do I need to put this at one of the scrap locations? I think that's maybe how it works. Let's put it here then. Bam. So that'll automatically extract. And be a lot faster, presumably. All right, I'm pushing, I'm pushing the lever. Let's see what it do. What the lever do? Oh, oh, it's, it's going, it's going. Oh, 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 uh-huh. Okay. So I need to find the blue lever as well. Where's the blue lever at? Oh, it looks like it might be all the way over here. Okay. So we need to find both switches. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to build a bridge to get to the other switch. Build the mechanics quarters. Oh, that's a different guy. <gasps> I see. Okay. I don't have, I didn't have mechanics quarters. We should only need the one, hopefully. Our mechanic has arrived. They will automatically install any machines you've placed. I got confused between mechanics and engineers. Mechanics will also repair steam bots, machines or turrets that map a damage. Yeah, because we're going to get attacked later with the thing. Ooh! <laughs> Sick. Find the first piece of old tech and build a sheet metal factory. I'm guessing sheet metal might be needed for bridges or something, huh? Maybe more houses is the guy so that we can get more taxable income, huh? Slums ain't gonna fill themselves. <laughs> True. True. Build the sheet metal factory then, eh? Sheet metal. Ionium, which we're getting in the mines, so perfect. Yeah, man, give me a little bit more money. Pay your taxes, robots. <laughs> Pay your taxes. <laughs> Here's our sheet metal factory. Oh my god, I love just like looking at the new buildings <laughs> and seeing them go. You're just like dumping little bits of iron into the blast furnace. Goes through the roller. Rolls up. Pickaxe maker is literally a giant pickaxe. Don't ask me to explain how that works, but that's how you make pickaxes with a giant pickaxe. Just like how you make little baby hammers with a giant hammer. Oh yeah, tumbleweed. <laughs> nice. Tumble. It needs another name because it's not like a weed, right? It's like tumble scrap. Mmm, tumble scrap. There's more tumble scrap. 
Bridge. Unlock. We need more engineers. Here we go. See, I discovered myself. We need more engineers. Time to upgrade some of these slums into en engineer residentials. Seems like we're really, like... As long as we keep a slight surplus of workers, we should be okay. Now we don't have enough workers, though, so we're gonna need more workers. Workers... The workers living right next to the train station. <laughs> uh, <laughs> build some extra slum space over here. Right, right against the train line. <laughs> right against the train line. <laughs> Find the first piece of old tech. So for that, we need to build the bridge. We gotta get the bridge. Oh, we can build the bridge now. It's also telling us about the surveillance facilities too. Selecting the, the facility shows you what can be found on the mine floor you're on, such as resource veins or chests. Surveillance facility also mark old tech and the new mine shaft locations on the equipment. Oh, okay. So we need to build enough to get like a radar slot. Enables the use of radars. Radars send out a pulse into the mine, revealing points of interest. If you spread out the radar strategically across the mine, you can get hints on where to explore. So we don't have to put it here, but we may want to instead put it like over here or something. Get a pulse in this area. See if we can discover anything. I mean, we've explored most of this mine, so I don't know if the radar pulse is going to be that helpful for us, but... Your radar found a resource vein. Reach it so you can mine for resources. Oh, I can get through the sandstone to get to it. Oh, yeah. Well, I wouldn't have thought that there was something there, so... The radar did its job. Give me the stuff. Open chest. What's this one? Sheet metal scavenging. Oh, oh. Periodically gives you sheet metal. A mechanic will periodically find sheet metal for you. Sure. So I can just put this in the mechanic's bedroom. Now I got distracted though, because what I needed was actually the bridge. <laughs> it seems like I could just move the radar around, huh? Let's see if I can build that bridge now. So this takes the sheet metal. Here we go. Ho ho ho! <laughs> we discovered the switch! And another chest. Yo, we found another hat! <laughs> Tool scavenging. Now we can get our prospectors to find us some more tools. Periodically give you tools. That's a good one, that is. Alright, I'm flicking the switch! Howdy ho! Here it goes. Let's see what it do. Hmm. It must be in here then. The thing that we need. So we needed to figure out how to dig over to there. Which it looks like here. Looks pretty good. Dig me a little path, and then put a little bridge in, over here. There's our bridge. Woo! It's all happening! You found a part of the old tech! Mark it with a dig tool to start excavating! The amount of miners needed will be displayed above the object. You will have to collect all six pieces of tech in order to escape the planet. So this is your ultimate goal, is to collect six of these things, eh? Use the dig tool to start. We need we need an extra two miners. Ooh, okay. It's a big project. In the meantime, show me this. Might have to expand the miner. Recruit bonus miners. Oh, how fortuitous. <laughs> how perfectly fortuitous. That gets us the exact amount of miners we need, but let's just first gain access to this. Also, there's another scrap vein there. Too few prospectors in the dusty caverns. Aw. All right, let's extract the first bit. Waiting for the miners. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. What do we got in here? So the two wires opened like a door that was needed to gain access to this area in the first place. Dig! Dig, I say! <laughs> we gotta get parts of the rocket ship so we can escape this planet before it falls apart. Until such time as we have extracted all six parts of the rocket ship, I will exploit my workers mercilessly. <laughs> the robots, the robot engineers and the robot workforce shall be wrung dry of all oil and or steam. They will give every, they will give everything so that we might escape. They'll do so willingly too, because that's how they've been programmed. The perfect workforce. <laughs> the perfect workforce. 
The old tech has been excavated. Interact to claim it. Once claimed, the old tech can be added to the Astrodome in the city. You can keep track of how much of the tech you've assembled. Hurry now. Hold it up to the city and let us prepare for its installation. Obtain all rocket parts in the mine to build the rocket. Aww. <laughs> Get out the dodgy looking little rocket frame. <laughs> Astrodome. Here the rocket will be constructed as you excavate the pieces below and bring them back up to the city. Collect rocket parts. We have one out of six. Let's see. What about moonshine? Let's see if we can do that. So moonshine needs the sand sifting factory. I just need an area that's like decently fertile, which is like right behind here. Seems fine. It might need to be close enough to the warehouse though. You know what? Maybe I'll put it more over this end. So that thing's sifting sand. Good. And now I need glass blowers to make bottles for the, for the booze. I need bottles for the booze. I'm kind of in, that's going to lower fertility if I move it too, put it too close over there. Look at the look at the glass bottle. It's giant, it's blowing a gigantic bottle. <laughs> it's just like glooping it into barrels here. Old, old dusty. <laughs> what? Look, it just, it just flings the rocks over <laughs> to these guys. <laughs> I should, I should put these, I should put this extractor firing the rubble onto the slums. <laughs> We're gonna do this. We gotta do it right. I need you to get stuck. I need you to catapult over to this area. Because this is where the robot slums are gonna be. <laughs> Perfect. So I've designed the slums so that the <laughs> off castings from the sand mining operations rain gravel down on their little shack rooftops constantly <laughs> so this is where the poor worker robots live just getting gravel rain down on the roof on their roofs ting 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 constantly all day long this guy literally has to in order to get home he has to walk through the rain of gravel folks i'm gonna have to leave it there for today though it's been an absolute pleasure checking out steam world build what a cool game it's got a lot of charm to it the like details on all the buildings and the robots and everything is fantastic it's such like a unique style to really set it apart from other city builders and then on top of that it's got this like dungeon keeper mining stuff down in the mines as well c to combine with that and uh, i like the finding various items and things as you explore even like clicking a little uh tumble scraps is pretty fun too so it looks like it's got a lot to it looks like it's got a lot to offer but uh, that is going to be it for now folks I am Ziggy D, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.